NASA leaders are announcing Jeff Bezos. Blue Origin Company will help develop a lunar lander for an upcoming Artemis mission to the moon. Blue Origin will design, develop, and test that lander. News 6's James Barbero explains what it means for the future of space exploration. Blue Origin will build a human landing system to deliver NASA astronauts to the lunar surface. Administrator Bill Nelson announcing that during the Artemis V mission, Blue Origin's Blue Moon will dock with NASA's future lunar space station and then transfer astronauts to the lunar surface for a week exploring the moon's south pole. The feeling is absolutely fantastic. This is step one, though. We have a lot to do before we successfully land and return astronauts. Blue Origin previously lost this type of bid when NASA awarded SpaceX contracts to land astronauts on the moon for the third and fourth Artemis missions. NASA now chooses Blue Origin over this concept from Dynetics, who, unlike its competitors, does not have a billionaire founder. The real problem with doing interesting things in space is that the price of admission is so high. When Jeff Bezos lost to Elon Musk's Starship, he sued NASA and lost in court. Now winning a bid, Blue Origin says it will spend more than $3 billion of its own money to prepare its lander, in addition to the $3 billion it receives under the contract. It is an important and exciting next step for the Human Landing System program. And now we will have two providers and providing that competition. Artemis V is expected to launch in 2029. NASA also updating us on the next Artemis mission, Artemis II, the first with a crew that will fly around the moon. NASA says that launch is on target for the fall of next year. In Cape Canaveral, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six. Thank you, James. We do have a big launch this weekend with humans on board. The Axiom 2 launch will mark the second ever private astronaut mission to the International Space Station. Liftoff is set for just after 5.30 Sunday evening. You'll be able to watch it live on News 6. Click Orlando.com and the News 6 Plus Smart TV app.